Hi, good evening, good morning, whatever it is for you. Oh, sorry, this is the itch right there. Today, I want to talk about your relationship with your doctors, your team. And don't get in the habit of lying to them because you may think you're fooling them, but you're not really. And things are going to end up not going your way. Now, years ago, when I was a young man at work for the first time, when work would get too much, I, a couple of times, played around with my insulin. But at that point, I really wasn't taking care of myself. So, I would go to the doctor. I wouldn't go to an endocrinologist. At that time, I had a GP, a really nice British man, you know, who had sort of like the um, rugby tie. And he never really suggested that I go see a diabetic specialist. But it pro I probably would have been in better condition now. Back then, I was sort of living in old old ways like it wasn't till after I got to see him that I found out there was a new glucometer at that point I still had the brick which I really wasn't doing I wasn't doing blood sugars but you know at that point blood sugars weren't sort of pushed as hard as a tool to be used. And he would ask, how's your blood sugar? Oh, I'm doing fine. I wasn't doing fine. I'd leave his office and I'd go to, uh, a convenience store was just down the street. We'd end up having sugar pop and, you know, and back then, I wasn't having a pump on. To show how ridiculous I was, I went and got a cold. Well, what I thought was a cold. And... You know, I found out I was really congested and I was really exhausted all the time. I had to call in sick for work, which I normally didn't. Yes, it's later at night than in bed. But I went there and said, okay, we'll go do a blood sugar. And I was so thirsty that I stopped off at the convenience store and normally went to up there and I, we needed milk and we normally would get a four liter and my mouth started being if you're a type 1 diabetic you know the sound effects of it And, you know, it's like I couldn't speak, or so I ended up drinking milk. I opened it up, and, I, and it was like, out of a four-liter jug, there was about that much left in it by the time I got home. I was just 
so dehydrated, I was so tired. And of course, stupid me didn't think that it was that I had high blood sugars. Imagine how stupid I was. Well, anyway, I got a call from the doctor and they said they rushed the lab results to me. Now, for Canadians, or, sorry, for the met countries that use the metric system, my blood sugar was like 72.8, I think it was. Maybe nine, but it was high. For the US and countries that use the same system, Just one sec here. Oh, of course. Can't find it. Oh, there it is. I was over 1,300 blood sugar. So either way you express it, it was still high. And he said, I think you have pneumonia. You better go to emergency. I said, okay, I'll make my way. And he said, no, an ambulance is on the way. It will be outside your front door very quickly. Well, you know, oh, well, I've got to pack. You're not thinking your blood sugar is super high. You have pneumonia. Maybe you need to hurry things up. But you know, at that point, if I took care of myself, told the doctor the truth, and then after that next visit, we kind of had a little chat. And that was kind of an awakening for me. Imagine that. People need something to shake them up and for me this was it i'm not proud of that number but it's just something to let you know how something could have turned very deadly for me and i started doing my blood sugars Oh, excuse me again. And everything. You know, I still had a few faults down again. But I wasn't drinking as much pop. And, of course, it didn't help that I worked at a store that had a fountain drinks. There, should be quiet for a bit. I'm five. Right now. Five, five. How many is five? That's an old Sesame Street song. But a lot of the, during that time, I was trying to hide numbers. Now, if many of you have kids that are moving on into teenage years, and the feeling is that they should start taking care of their diabetes, Press the positives. I know I kept hearing. Are you sure you're doing it right? And it was out of caring. But you know. Oh yeah. You know, I kept pushing them off saying. Oh yeah. And the worst, and the worst question is. How was your diabetes? Oh my diabetes is fine today. How was your diabetes? But I took care of myself the best I could. I don't know if maybe the damage had already been set in. But we moved to almost New West, the place I was before I moved here. And during that time, I got an endocrinologist and 
she got after me and we actually had a good relationship for over 20 years and I was sorry when she was retired but that's what you need you need to find a doctor that will help take care of your son or your daughter or yourself if things don't work and you don't connect with that doctor move on to another but don't end up just lying and saying, oh yeah, things are going fine. Oh yeah, I forgot to do my blood sugar. Oh yeah, I didn't eat right that week. Yeah, you can always come up with excuses. But who ends up paying the price? You do. So just don't do it. Have a great day. We'll talk to you later. Bye now.